Hi, my name's Dave, I'm also known as Infected Flinch, and uh, welcome to The Shape of Things to Come, where I talk about anything I can find and talk to you, the viewer, and possibly your grandma, who knows. Right, in any case, um, just a few things really. Um, I've got a few little bits and pieces that I've managed to pick up, so uh, I'll start with that to begin with. Uh, first off, first off, there's something down here. Um, so, what I have here, and I've got a Mega Drive, but, um, and also as well, uh, somewhere down here I've got a Multi Mega um, as well, but this, I've got one of these. Yes, it's a Mega CD, and it's got a Mega Drive 2 slapped on the top, but it actually works with that, so it's a bit of a weird setup. But uh, yes, so we finally got, because uh, I have a bit of this thing with the um, Mega CD, uh, well, my Multi Mega anyway. Uh, it's my little baby, and I, 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 I paid a lot of money for that, and I love it very much, and I don't want anything to come to it, so I, uh, I don't really play with it. Um, it's, uh, it's a beautiful little thing. I'll actually get it out because it's down here. So, uh, so bear with me a moment. Here we go. Uh, there we are. There is the Multi Mega. So that is a Mega CD and a Mega Drive slapped into one, and um, he is my baby. He is my real baby. So it's a uh, it's Walkman as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, also, as well, just to let you know, uh, yes, that over there is the uh, it's Burn Cycle, in fact, and it's actually doing it on its own now. So, yeah, basically one of my all-time favorite games, as you all know. I'm just gonna put him back in there. There we go. But yes, this is the Mega CD, so um, we'll be playing that soon. Um, well, I don't know if you know anything about it, there's, um, you know, some of the games on there are a little bit wonky, so uh, that'll be fun. But yes, Burn Cycle there, my all-time, one of my all-time favourite games um, from the Philips CDR days. So. Uh, there are some CDI games coming up soon, um, and I did say that we we're going to be, uh, you know, changing the intro and everything, but that's going to happen next week, so there's not many of the old videos left, so we're going to be shifting across to that. Um, I'm darting backwards and forwards between things, sorry, I keep a focus on things. Right, so, just to start off with, um, some of the games I've got, and we'll be doing some of these soon. Uh, the first one is the Summer Challenge um, for the Mega Drive. Um, yeah, I got this. Uh, the, if, you, if you've been to Sheffield, it's a place called Playtime. I uh, do recommend them. They are pretty awesome, but uh, they've kept this pretty much pristine. And I got it for like one pound fifty or something. But it's got a pristine manual there. Um, it's actually got all the stuff in there as well. And uh, there's the actual cartridge, pristine. Nothing wrong with it. And um, the awesome thing with this is, it's actually got inside little trading cards to other games. So there's the Winter Challenge, uh, Double Dragon, <laughs> um, Warp Speed, which I have never heard of, um, the, the Duel, Test Drive 2, um, Universal Soldier, <laughs> um, but also in here the Dreaded One, <sighs> before he went and took the plunge and turn 3D. So yeah, I, pretty cool, pretty cool I think that, and the fact it's got all that stuff in there, so uh, shovel him all away. Um, so here we go, back in there. You can't see that? I can. So <laughs> me putting that all away. So, summer challenge. Pretty awesome. Now, the next one, I uh, managed to pick up relatively cheap, and I still haven't got around to showing any of it yet, but uh, this one, I don't know if you can see it, China Warrior uh, for the Turbo Graphics. Apparently, it's one of the uh, worst games for the Turbo Graphics, from what I understand. Um, but um, we will give the Turbo Graphics a good go. I have no complaints about that, but I haven't played this yet. But I probably am going to have some after playing this one, so that, that's an interesting one. Now, oh, right, we've got uh, <laughs> this one. I don't know if you can see it because of the uh, price sticker on top, but All-Star Action! 
Mm. It's got such brilliant games as Battle Trucks, Ride the Waves, Speed Demon, Superbike GP, Top Speed Rally, Water Power Jet, and it's just a bloke, you know, spraying his drive with Power Jet. I think that's probably that one. Um, Power Riders, Revs, Stock Car Race, <laughs> Surfing Paradise, Turbo Race 2. What happened to Turbo Race 1? And Extreme Borders. That's all the action you could probably muster in a day. Oof. And we have also got Skier Mix. Yeah! Oh man. Yeah. Master the wildest international ski slopes with the help of four player characters and 11 different pairs of skis. Less said the better. Um, now, the last thing, um, and um, this is actually, um, um, I, I, I know I got this quite a while back and I've talked to him already, but I'm going to share it with you all as well. Um, he's a top lad, uh, Mark, Mark Johnson, um, from uh, the Joy of Sticks. He uh, sent me a parcel. Um, the sad thing is, uh, the thing I can actually play it on doesn't work, so I think you remember probably from a few weeks back, I'd managed to get a, a, a NES clone to play games with. Um, unfortunately, I've had two of them and neither worked. So, unfortunately, I, I'm grateful for the fact that I actually got this in the post from him, but I am actually going to go out and buy a proper NES because it, it's a shame. I've actually got a few games for it and I just can't play them. But, to get to the point, he, the Joy of Sticks... Um, He's a top lad. He actually sent me this. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Um, and I'm, I'm dead chuffed with it. So, you know, I'm, I, 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 I'm not used to people giving me things. So I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm, thank you. That's probably all I'm trying to say. There's words coming out, but I can't seem to say anything. But um, yes, um, basically, um, go Watch him. He's a top lad. He, I, I'm, I, I. Whew. So yeah, um, and he actually left me a little note as well. Um, so I don't know whether or not you want me to read this out, but I'm gonna do it. Um, so here you go, Dave. A bit of funny co-op action for you, the boys and your new NES clone. Uh, hope you enjoy it. And remember, there's no case too big, no case too small. If you need help, just call J -J 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 Joy of Sticks. Toodle pip. So thanks, man. Um, I'm really appreciative of it. Thank you so much. Um, really, seriously, thank you. So, um, oh, one last thing as well. Um, and it's all in this big pile here. There's, there's a load of stuff here. But also as well from my friend as well. Um, his name is Dan. Um, he's, a, he's, he's a top lad as well. Uh, he gave me this, Rocky, uh, for the Xbox. So that one we've got to play as well. So uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, you got a little honourable mention there. So, there you go. That's pretty much it for the moment, but um, in terms of the hauls and everything. But um, what I want to do this time, rather than me rant and rave about a particular subject, uh, I'm still going to rant and rave anyway, but um, what I want to do this time is a bit of a top five. So, uh, a top five of something. Um, this time around, I want to talk about top five gaming series that have since vanished and I want them back um, and basically I'm gonna put a few video clips in here too um, just to say what I want back um, and what I would love to see people do again um, so number five um, number five for me um, is a, a series called The Journeyman Project now, the Gentleman Project was um, about a guy called Gage Blackwood, I think that was his name, and uh, he would basically work for something called the TSA. Um, if there was any Americans out there, they'd probably be saying that was something else. But essentially, uh, he's a time traveller, and if anything ever goes wrong in the past, he goes back and he fixes it. Pretty much, that's all it is. There was three games in the series, um, and it was basically brilliant. It was about these aliens and rogue agents. It was awesome. It was a point-and-click adventure series. And the last of the series um, was about how big civilizations came and went and disappeared. And it was brilliant. It was awesome. 
Um, so like Atlantis, Shangri-La, all those kinds of places just disappeared off the face of the planet and nobody knew where they went. And you've got to find out why they got rid of them. That's essentially it, and it's it's awesome. It's an awesome series, and I would like to see it again. But I know that the actual company that did it, Presto, have long since gone. Um, but check it out. If you can find that game series, uh, pick them up. The first and second ones are a bit basic if you're a bit... You know, one in top graphics, but the gameplay is spot on. It's really fun. It's really critical. Um, and it was in a time where 3D was in its infancy, and the point-and-click genre was at its highest. So it's pretty cool. Point-and-click adventure-wise, I love Journey and Project, and I would love to see that come back. So, number four. Another point in click series that uh, I would love to see come back, uh, Discworld, the Discworld series. Um, so I, I, I loved Discworld 1 and 2. Number 1 was an absolute ball ache in places because the only thing he ever said was, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, and it really did get annoying after a while. Especially when you were supposed to kind of realise, oh, I need to get hold of a butterfly and put that near a lamp to cause chaos theory. If you hadn't read the books, you had no chance and you were going to be stuck, whether you wanted it or not. Discworld 2, on the other hand, uh, gave you clues and kind of pushed you in the right direction. So, Discworld 2 was a lot better for that. Um, and there was Discworld Noir, which I kind of liked. And I think it was trying to do what Grim Fandango was doing at the time. And uh, then, shh, gone. No more games. Um, but, the, the, I mean, it's, it's not as if Discworld isn't... It's popular, people are still, you know, there's films that are still coming out, there's still TV series and whatnot, so the books are still going. So, you know, why why not make another game? Um, I think we'll do one. I think we'll do one. Um, number three. Number three for me is Beyond Good and Evil. I think this is on most people's lists, because we're all wanting it, and... Uh, <sighs> Where is it? Where's the second one? After that horrendous ending, where Paige, yeah, Paige, there was a pig called Paige, P-E-Y-J, Paige, and the poor guy, he'd been through hell and back, and it was a pig, yes, it was an anthropomorphic, I can't speak, but yeah, a, a pig, it was a pig, and um, <laughs> he, he, he was, he was, he'd gone through all this shit, and then at the very moment, last moment, a tentacle came out of his hand and it was like the evil hadn't gone, it was still there. And that was it, it stopped and it's like, right, where's the rest? It, it, we want a sequel, we need a sequel, we need one. Beyond Good and Evil, that needs to come back, it needs to come back, That is that. it needs to be continued. I know it never really got anywhere in terms of like, you know, how many people boy, but fuck it. There were obviously people out there that boy because everybody's still running and raving and wanting it. <sighs> Come back. Anyway, next one on my list at number two, Condemned. Um, Condemned. Yeah, I've mentioned Condemned a few times before. Uh, Condemned 2. <sniffs> Let's just pretend that never happened, but Condemned 1 is one of my beautiful games of all time, and I want that back. I really need that to come back. I really do. So yeah, Condemned is one of those games where if we could just erase Condemned 2 and just continue from Condemned 1, I'd be very happy with that right now. So, Sega, do something right in your life and actually make a series that we want to see. Please. Um, and number one in my list of games I wish to see come back and I've made a video about this, and you're probably going to know what this is. Red Faction. Yes, I want Red Faction to go back to what we used to know. I want that to come back. And Volition, I know you guys have not got those rights, but please get them back. Uh, and I want to see, I want to see a mixture of Red Faction 1 and what Gorilla was and mesh that together. Not Armageddon. Armageddon was not good. I'm sorry guys, it wasn't good. Red Faction 1, 2, I only played bits and pieces of, and I know I've got it in that down there I need to play, but Armageddon, not good, not good. So, bring it back Volition, stop it with Saints Row 4. <laughs> but I, I that was really good, I haven't played that yet, so I, I can't make judgment on that. 
So, there's my top five. Um, so, those are the things I want to see come back. Tell me what your top fives are, because I would love to know. There are some out there I probably missed, and I would love to see again. Really would love to see again. Um, so, just to let you know what's coming up soon, uh, we've got uh, some CDR games. Now, as, as a caveat, I've got to say, some of the games I put Stefan and Rabbit through, they were probably going to murder me in my sleep. That's how bad some of the CDI games have been to them. And I've been doing the nostalgia journeys as well. So, um, yeah, they've been coming out. So I'm going to try and do them once in a great while where I try and play a game from beginning to the very end and see if I can do it. Um, I might try and do that with Stefan because I think Stefan's got the, uh, the gumption to do it. So we could probably go through an entire game if we could. Um, but... Who knows? See what happens. So, in any case, um, that's pretty much all I've got to say today for the shape of things to come. Um, do leave me a comment, um, and if you want to say anything else, do do drop me a line. I, I will talk to you, and I won't try and hurt you. So, see you later, guys, and uh, I'll see you for the next trip. Tata sauce.